Hey there. These days, many of us don't have to think too hard to call to mind a recent loss, whether it's the loss of a job, the loss of financial security due to the stock market. Maybe it's the loss of a trip that you had planned and were really looking forward to taking, or even just being able to have family over for Easter. Some of us have even experienced the loss of a loved one over these last few weeks due to the coronavirus. Each loss leaves a restlessness and a longing and an emptiness. We see this in the gospel passage for, for Easter this year, where Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb early in the morning that first Easter. Her friend and teacher had been brutally killed just days before. And as if that was not enough, she comes to what she thought would be his final resting place, only to find it empty. We have the benefit of time and faith. We know that this emptiness was ultimately a sign of God's love and goodness and triumph over death. In that moment though, it just felt like emptiness, confusion and loss. What's your empty tomb right now? Where are you feeling loss and confusion and uncertainty? As Catholic Christians in these troubling times, it's important to remember that the resurrection can often feel at first like emptiness. To be clear, I'm not trying to downplay the hardship and the sorrow that the virus has caused or to ignore the ramifications that will continue to unfold over time. That doesn't do justice to anyone. And as people of faith, we believe that God has transformed death before and is able to do it again. In some sense, this is God's business. The loss is real. Things will never go back to the way that they were before, exactly. Mary Magdalene's way of relating to Jesus was not the same after the resurrection. Our lives are going to be different after all this is over. And the emptiness that we're feeling right now is real, totally real. On this Easter Monday, I invite you then to renewed hope in a God whose transforming love can bring about new life out of what seems like an empty tomb. It may take time um, to recognize God's presence in these places, and we will undoubtedly still feel the pain of losing the way that things were before. Yet, as Easter people, we wait in hopeful anticipation of God's creative, transformative love working in our lives and in the world. Happy Easter, everybody.